We, the jury in the above entitled action, find the defendant, Robert Blake, not guilty of the crime of first degree murder. The late Robert Blake was an actor on TV and in the movies who was exonerated of death his second wife, Bonnie Lee Backley. He was 89. Before watching more video, don't forget to subscribe our channel. On Thursday, Blake's niece, Norian Austin, confirmed the news of his death, citing heart illness as the cause of death. They released a statement to news saying he was at home in Los Angeles with his loved ones. Star of the Night of the Living Dead, Marilyn Eastman, passes away at age 87. The New Jersey native got his start in show business at the tender age of five, when he starred in one of the Our Gang comedy short films. First debuting on the TV series The Adventures of Wild Bill Hickok, he went on to star in the Academy Award-nominated picture In Cold Blood in 1967. The film paved the way for his breakout performance as New York City detective Tony Barretta in the 1970s TV series Barretta. His first Emmy nomination came that year for his role as the show's outstanding lead actor in a drama series, and the show ran for four seasons from 1975 through 1978. Aside from his 1977 and 1993 Emmy nominations, he also won the award that year for his work in the TV crime drama Blood Feud, and again for his work in the miniseries Judgment Day, The John List Story, he was nominated for two awards, one for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Limited Series or Special, and another for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Miniseries or Special. Hell Town, which aired in 1985 for a single season, was the last TV show in which he appeared. His wife Backley was shot and killed in 2001, and he was eventually arrested for the crime. On May 4, 2001, Blake's automobile was parked outside an Italian restaurant near the couple's Stubio City, California, home, when Backley, a mother of four, was shot and died. After leaving his wife alone, Blake told police he went back to the restaurant to get the gun he dropped, which turned out to be unrelated to the murder. Cops caught up with him after nearly a year. Blake's defense team argued that the claims of two retired stuntmen who told authorities that Blake had tried to hire them as hit men were unreliable and were used as evidence against him by prosecutors. Immediately following the shooting, both Blake and his attorney Harlan Braun claimed that Backley, who the defense and prosecution later agreed was a professional grifter of men, may have been killed by a previous boyfriend or one of the many men she had built in con schemes. As a result of DNA tests proving that he was the father of her and 11-month-old daughter Rose, Blake and Backley had been married for around five months prior to the murder. Blake was never implicated in the crime, since there were no direct corroborating pieces of evidence. The jury deliberated for eight days before declaring Blake not guilty. Afterwards, Backley's family filed a civil claim against Blake and won a $15 million judgment when a civil jury held Blake liable for Backley's death. The amount was reduced by half by an appeals court, and the matter was resolved for an unknown sum. After many years, Blake still insisted he was innocent of the murder. Rose Lenore, Blake's daughter, opened up to P.U. Ball in 2019 about her difficult childhood after her mother passed away. Initially, she was unable to pinpoint the exact location of her mother's grave. The fact that I didn't go ahead and look it up is telling. Honestly, I don't think I was prepared for it. And then when I was 18, I was all, I'm ready. It's on my mind to pay her a visit. I've had my share of sadness in life, she continued. Nonetheless, I have faith that everything will work out fine in the end.